What is going on everybody and welcome to a brand new player room. Today we're going to be looking at my first La Liga team of the season player. We've had released Neymar, Messi, Suarez, Ronaldo, all those players. Who am I reviewing? Gregor Kroshewiak. You might ask yourself, why review him? There's so many more exciting players out there at the moment. But the truth is, I actually really like this guy's base card and I really wanted to see if he was going to perform better than Kadira because Kadira, for most people, is the number one choice for CDM in La Liga and if you compare the stats, Kroatia actually has him one up to pretty much everything. He's got better pace, he's got better passing, he's got better defending and physical, they've got the same dribbling. The only thing Kadira has actually got better is, um, is shooting, which I actually think Kroatia shooting in-game is actually better. But Let's have a look at his record for us. You can see he cost me 28,250 coins. He's going for between 20 to 40k, so he's probably the cheapest one in the whole La Liga team of the season at the moment, I think. He played five games, got four goals from centre mid, which is he's shooting like so feels really good, and two assists. He's an absolute beast, lads. I'll say that first and foremost. You look at these stats, we've just looked at his base card. He's got six foot one height, medium high work rates, which are absolutely perfect for CDM. And then he's got the three star weak foot and the two star skill moves. I put him into a 4 5 1 because I wanted to see how he was going forward as well as defending. And I think this formation, the centre mid position, you know, it does a bit of both. So that's why I wanted to put him there. And um, we'll start rolling some highlights now. In fact, we'll look at his game stats versus his in game stats. You can see he's very lacking any sort of technical attributes as far as shooting, curve, all that kind of stuff goes. But where he really excels is his strength is exceptional at 96. He's got fantastic stand tackle. He's got fantastic positioning. He's got great marking. Everything about him screams that he should be a powerhouse midfielder to me. I mean, he's got two-star skill moves, which isn't fantastic. And, um, you know, you can forgive that at CDM, in my opinion. And he actually utilises the ball roll very well. It must be said, as you'll see, as the clips start to roll in now. But, um, like I say, at CDM... He's absolutely fantastic. He's very strong. He's great at getting a foot in. And the one thing, I, I, the one word I would use, sorry, to describe him is a linchpin in the team. He's absolutely fantastic at winning the ball back and then just getting the next attack going. He's, he can jar, charge forward. Sometimes his touch can let him down a little bit. It, it can be a bit heavy. And sometimes that actually works to your advantage because it can commit the defenders. But most of the time, it can make it a bit easy to get him off him to get the ball off him. Um, he just seems to be a calming influence as well in that CDM role. He always, you can be under pressure and he always seems to be available for an out ball, which is his positioning coming, to, coming into the equation. His passing is fantastic, whether it be short or long, that feels really solid. And his shot power is absolutely incredible. I think in the game it's 87. It feels a lot better than that to me. You, you can see he's actually got decent free kicks as well. Um, I scored one free kick, which was a drilled one. And another one forced a fantastic save out of Manuel Neuer, I think it was in between the sticks at the time. And like I say, he got four goals in five games, which is really, really good at CDM. The two assists he could have had more. He played in players several times and they just couldn't quite tell the chance. So he bends me, hit the post, Isco missing a good chance. I could have put loads more in there. But most of the highlights you'll see, they're not the most exciting highlights you will ever come across in a player review. But just, I'm just trying to show the calming influence he has when he collects the ball. And he can charge upfield with his great strength because he can hold off people even though he's not the quickest. It's either him doing that or he could be just playing a single pass to the side to take the sting out of the game. He was just an absolute pleasure to use and like I say, he, I really liked his base card and this is like a souped up version of it, which it should be because it's the team of the season card, but sometimes you find that like, isn't quite the case. Like I say, the one noticeable thing from his normal to his team of the season is his passing feels a lot better, his shooting feels a lot better and his charging runs feel better. His regular card is fantastic for me for winning the ball back short pass to the side and that's all he does he's very good at the basics this one is very good at the basics but then he's got a little bit extra to his game as well like I say I really enjoyed him and uh, on the whole his only two weaknesses that I can come up with there is pace which is still quicker than Kadira and Busquets Perez is obviously a lot quicker than him but to be honest when he goes shoulder to shoulder even with a quick player he'll knock them off the ball win the ball back with ease but sometimes if a player takes the long way around him he can struggle to catch up because you know 65 pace, when you're coming across the locks of Tim and now Bamiyang, Inform, Strocker, Walcott, which are out there at the moment, and a lot of people are using them, he can struggle to keep up with them. In a shoulder to shoulder, it's no problem, but as soon as they get past him, he's not catching up. His other downside, which, like I say, 
can sometimes be a positive with his big touch. Sometimes he can commit defenders and can work really well. But a lot of the time, if he get, takes a big touch ahead of him, someone will just sniff him, get the ball away, and you've lost the ball. But on the whole, like I say, really, really enjoyed him. I'm going to actually be giving him a 9 out of 10. Really, really impressed, especially being as well as well. You can get him for like 20 to 30k right now. He's an absolute steal. He's positive. His tackling is incredible. His passing is really good. Like I say, he's like a linchpin in the team. He's incredibly powerful. I just absolutely, and I mean, he's shooting, like I say, I don't want to say his long shots are good, but his shot power was good, and that can sometimes mean, even when you've not got the greatest long shots, I think he's got 77, which isn't bad by any stretch, the shot power is always going to cause the goalkeeper's problems, we all know that on this game, and um, yeah, 9 out of 10, really thoroughly enjoyed him, is he better than Kadira? Yes, is he better than Busquets? Yes, is he better than Enzo Perez? It's a very close call for me. I mean, Perez is a lot quicker, obviously, which plays into his hands. Krocheriak's a lot fast, uh, faster, a lot stronger, sorry. And uh, it really just depends what you want in a CDM. I actually think that if you've got two CDMs in a formation, which I often do, so something like, let's just dig one out quickly, a 4 2 3 1. Bam, 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 bam. There we go, just gone past it. If you're using this formation or the wider version, I actually think Krocheriak. And Perez as the two CDMs would be absolutely ideal. If I was going to pick one, I think I would actually go for Team of the Season Clyde Cheriak right now. But that's purely because I've just really enjoyed using him. He's so close between him and Perez. And people that have watched his channel for a long time will know how highly I rate Perez. So we'll know that that is a really massive, massive compliment to Clyde Cheriak. But if you've not used him, I would highly recommend it. Like I say, it's only between 20 and 30k. And absolutely still for a Team of the Season card right now. Um, let me know if you enjoyed the video or if you've used him yourself and you think the same kind of thing. It would be fantastic if you'd throw a like on it if you did enjoy it. Like I say, comment down below if you've used him, what you thought of him, what other players you've managed to pack in that lock. So I have not managed to pack anyone out the La Liga team of the season yet. I think I spent about 200k yesterday on the main account and got absolutely bugger all. Let me know if you've done any better. And uh, yeah, I will speak to you all in tomorrow's video, which I think is going to be a pretty cool pack opening. So I look forward to that. I'll speak to you then. Nidge out. What is going on everybody and welcome to a brand new team of the week slash team of the season review. As you know I do these every week. Today's is out a little bit lighter than usual purely because I've been at work. I'm getting it out as quick.